In this video, I'm going to show you seven Chrome settings that you should change. So these are going to cover a lot of settings from security and privacy to some more general ones like managing cookies or third party access. So I've given the timestamps for all in the description and you can check them out from there. So let's get started. The first one, which I feel is really important is running a safety check. So to do this, just go to your browser and then click on the three dots, which are on the top right. After that, you can access settings by clicking on settings, which is the second last option. So now we've reached settings and we'll have to go to privacy and security that's on the left over here. And the first option, which you'll find is a safety check. And we can run it by just clicking on check now. So this is going to go through all of your settings, like your extensions, password manager, your browsing. And as you can see, it's given the results. So they've gone through my password manager and they found that one password is weak. So I can review this and make the changes. So I can just click on it. Over here, they've said that there's one weak password and now I can just change this. So in general, you should do this pretty often because it takes a couple of seconds, but then you get an overall idea about your account security. The next setting is related to privacy and it's managing the site settings. So again, just go to privacy and security that's on the left. Over here, scroll down and you'll find an option called site settings. And here you can control what information websites have about you. So if you scroll down under permissions, you can go through each one of these, such as location, camera, microphone, all of which are related to your privacy. So for location, I'll show you how you can change the setting and you can apply the same to the others. So here, if I click on location, then I first get an overview of which sites can see my location and which are not allowed. As you can see, Instagram has been blocked, but if there were some sites which were allowed, I'll find the list below. But the setting which we need to change over here is this one, the default behavior. We can decide whether sites can ask us for permission or if we want to block our location access to any site by default. So personally, I prefer the second option so that no site can get access to my location and I won't even get an annoying pop-up every time they want access. So this is how the setting works. And the same way for camera, microphone, notifications, you can just click on it and change the setting. Then the third setting is turning off background apps when you aren't using Chrome. So this is one thing which most people don't know about, but it's an important setting. So at the bottom left, just click on system, which is over here. And the first option, as you can see, is continue running background apps when Chrome is closed. And right now, it's switched on. And we can disable it by just clicking on this bar. So before changing this, Chrome allowed processes to continue even after you closed Chrome, but this is something which we don't want. Then the next setting is managing third-party cookies and turning them off. So again, for this, we'll have to go to privacy and security. And here, just select third-party cookies which is the third option. So from here, we can change the default behavior. They have three options, which is to allow them, block them only in incognito, or just block them in general. So personally, I'll prefer blocking them in general. That's the third option. So by changing the setting, no site can use our cookies and see our browsing activity. Now the next setting is customizing your startup page. So it's really simple. Just click on on startup that's over here. And here you have three options, but they can save a lot of your time. So here you can decide what tab opens when you open Chrome. So by default, they'll open a new tab page, but you can decide if you want to continue where you left off or open a specific website that you want. So let's say I want to open YouTube every time. I can just select the third option, then click on add a new page and just enter YouTube's URL over here. So now every time I open Chrome, I'll directly be taken to YouTube. Now, coming to the second last setting, and that's changing your autocomplete settings. So if you click on the second option, which is autofill and passwords, here you can change the autofill settings. So this is one thing which everyone should just enter once, because once it's done, it'll save you a lot of time when you're filling in forms or any other details. So I've made a detailed video on this, and you can check it out on the top right. But in brief, I'll quickly tell you how it works. So from here, you have three autofill options for passwords, payment methods, and addresses. Let's say I want to add my address over here. I can just click on this. 
after that, I'll click on add. And here I can enter all of my details. And then I'll just have to click on save. So how it works is that the next time you're filling in a form, you'll get an option to autofill. And when you click on that, all of these details will automatically come in that form and it'll save a lot of your time. And now the last setting is your web history expiry. So for this, we'll have to go to the My Activity page, just open a new tab and search for My Activity and click on the first website. So here we can decide how often our web activity is deleted. So by default, they don't delete it. So I'll show you how it works. If you just click on Web and App Activity that's here and scroll down, you'll see that Auto Delete is off. This means that everything you search for and all of your activity will remain in this account forever. But we can change this. Under Auto Delete, if you just click on Choose an Auto Delete option, then here, select the first option, and we can decide how frequently we want to delete the activity. So if you click on this, then they have these three options. So let's say I want to keep it at three months. Then every three months, my web and app activity will automatically get deleted. So just click on next and now just click on confirm and now it's done. So these were the seven Chrome settings that you should change. And if you want to know some Chrome extensions that you must have, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.